Welcome to MilkTube. Milk, 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 milk. My name is Jacob. And my name is Lucas. And we are the official MilkTubers of YouTube. We have done three other videos reviewing milk, and we said this is over, but no. We're doing another milk video because it turns out there was more milks. Unfortunately, this is our last time ranking milks. The series is coming to an end. There's so much milk in this world, and we thought we were done in those three videos. We have a lot more to explore, so buckle up. With that being said, I did have to go to four different stores to get this milk, so if you are thinking about getting these milks, you might have to dig deep. Milk. <laughs> Banana almond milk. This one was in the comments a lot. I wanted to get it. Unfortunately, I couldn't find it. It sounds disgusting, but I do want to try it. Goat milk. Cute! I thought it was at Whole Foods, but it wasn't. Quinoa milk. Basic. It just is frustrating being the biggest milk tuple, but yeah. still not being, being able to have access to all these milks. It's embarrassing, but we'll try to work harder for the next installment. My face is beat red right now. First of all, in this ad milk review, we're gonna try Ripple Dairy Free Milk. This is oh. pea milk. What? It's not made with P, P E E, it's made with P, P E A. I didn't even know that was a thing. It, the bottle is cool though, the aesthetic is very cute. Just a bunch of pea in there. So I'm pretty sure it, it's made with pea protein. Oh. I love that. Let's dig into this. I'm excited to try it. This is a, a half white That's color. enough. For some reason I was like thinking we're gonna chug it. <laughs> I don't wanna drink that many glasses. It's not as white as you'd think of just basic ass milk to be. It does have a yellow tinge. It doesn't smell like milk. It doesn't smell good. Let's dig into this pea milk. Oh, I'm Cheers. So weird. So I've drank pea protein before, like pea protein powder, and it tastes exactly like this. You've had vegan protein powder before. Yeah, that's why I recognize this. Yeah. It isn't good. To me, it tastes like dull. And I'm not even trying yeah. to be over-exaggerating, it just does. Yeah, sorry, um, the creators of that milk, but it does taste like utter shit. I am a big fan of plant-based milks. In fact, probably 80% of the milk I drink is plant-based, but this, um, this isn't it. I'm sorry. I hate it. Next up, hazelnut milk. Why do I feel like we already tried this? I, I'm pretty sure we haven't tried it. So why is there hazelnut milk, but I've never seen, maybe there is, but I've never seen wild nut milk. There has to be though. We didn't know there was pea milk until now either. That's true. This is one of those milks where you buy it in the pantry section. For some hazelnut milk. I do have high hopes for this one for some reason. This one is also an half white. Oh, this smells good. It, it, it smells like it's gonna have like sugar in it. This one <gasps> is sweetened. 26% of your sugar. Oh, chills. Oh, damn, that was good. I can tell why almond milk became the main bitch, though, because this one kind of is like clans in a way. Oh, I loved it. It's it tastes like this <laughs> one specific food that I've had, but I can't remember what it is. To me, it reminds me of a protein bar. But is that not what you're thinking of? No. I have to say I love it. Like, this with cereal would be so good. Most of the ones that are made with like nuts and seeds are made from soaking and blending the nuts and seeds and then they put them through a milk cloth oh. and then it turns into milk. But then it went through a cloth so like only the water gets through. It is really sad because think about all the nuts that are getting Yeah, through. like I want the mushy nuts that are still available. Maybe they use it for another product. Who knows. Now we're going in with hump milk. 
I didn't say hump, like when you're trying to produce a kid. I said heap. Heap milk. Heap milk. So this one's gonna get us a little bit blazed. Isn't this have something to do with marijuana? Yeah, but it doesn't get you high. But how does that have to correlate with? I honestly don't know. I need to Google it. They're like in the same family of seeds, I think. I'm just gonna believe you. This one isn't sweetened, so um, oh. it's not gonna be like the breast milk you're used to drinking. All right, it's gonna be the tiniest bit because I don't wanna get too high. Oh, this one's really white. There's little bits in it. Oh, is that like vanilla bean? I'm giving this an A plus for the color. It reminds me of rap videos. Wait, what? People are twerking and they pour milk on them. I've seen- Why is that a trend? <laughs> I've seen that in multiple videos. Someone's shaking an ass and pouring milk on the ass. Is that something people are into? Because I've seen it a lot in the past year. Why has milk turned into something sexual? I, no, I just want to know. society. It is cool to look at milk dripping down I, I do agree ass. with you. Milk is hot. <laughs> See those black specks? I, I, I'm, I'm saying it. This is my favorite. I don't like it. It tastes like, um, it tastes like a type of candy. You don't get that taste? It tastes like, um, bubble gum or something. <laughs> it does have a weird taste. I smelled it and it smelled sweet and I was like, this is good. I was like, it had no taste. It was like you bit into a sucker and it had no taste. It never happened to me, but you know. Fun fact, um, since I'm a research person, people drink all these different types of plant-based milk because environmental reasons and stuff because almond milk wastes so much water whereas like oh these other ones don't this is like milks that are bottled for the environment and stuff and then so which one is the best and for the environment yeah. what do these use as much water or no that's like out of school it. okay from our quick little research um pea milk is like the most sustainable but it tastes the worst. Next up, we have some flax milk with protein on it. So this one's gonna make you shit. Cause there aren't flax seeds for that. It has no dietary fiber. Oh, they rip out all the dietary fiber? Flax milk, but it has some pea protein added. Um, it says smooth and creamy on the side. Uh, also, why are they making it seem like it gives you good karma? Oh, the brand is good karma. Obviously because it's in a milk jug. I'm attracted to it, but mm -hmm. it, this one gives really good energy. It's like... Do you hear that? Reason, I feel like I'm gonna love this one. I don't know why. Wait, the vibrations are rising. I know. Let's dig into this one. Wait, this is thick. Oh, this is gonna taste good. It smells like a milkshake. Ah! Cheers. Oh, they added pea protein, so it, it just tastes like the pea milk. Oh, it just isn't good. This is the worst to me. Only one that I've liked so far is the hazelnut milk. The other three, I'm not kidding, just to me are at the same level of shit. It tastes like Malko's, and I'm not even joking. Oh. Yes, I am being so critical, but if someone handed me this and they said I had to drink this for the rest of my life, I wouldn't be that. I just want to know if anyone drinks this and likes it. Obviously someone does good to company, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you drink it because you know it's healthy? Is that what it is? Yeah, I'm assuming. But it doesn't even... I don't know. I am done. But I'm very excited because we finally need to go to a good milk. <laughs> oh. Guys, this is what started this whole video. I was at Walmart a few weeks ago. I don't know. I, I saw the Cinnamon Toast Crunch milk and I was like... Should I do another viral video about milk? You guys, it's real. There's cinnamon toast crunch cinnamon. This is the type of milk that I'm about. You know I don't I mean? know why they made it though. That's Who what I'm wondering. In the, in the company was like, we're gonna make this because it's not needed. When you have a bowl of cereal and you drink the milk after, the milk tastes so good. So I understand oh. why they did it. There was this ice cream place where they purposely make it taste like leftover milk. In New York City? Yeah. You've been to New York once? <laughs> <laughs> Shake that bitch up. But I have to say, like, if I was gonna choose a cereal to make milk up, this wouldn't be my first choice, but I am excited. I just wanted to give a disclaimer for me, too. I honestly don't think I'd ever drink this milk unless it was for this video. I think if I was gonna make one, though, I want the frosted 
like wheat things milk. What are those things called like the big the big rectangles when they're frosted? Oh yeah, Wheaties. Those are good. Yeah, give us a little bit more of this one because like obviously we're gonna like it a lot more. These milks are like my version of caffeine. It's like I've been getting more and more on a new level of consciousness each one. And this is a made of cow tit milk, right? Oh yeah, nipple milk. Wow. It tastes like the milk that's after you drink the cereal. That is so good. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna buy a few more bottles and I'm gonna hire people. Once I get both doses of the vaccine, I'm gonna hire people to pull milk on me one day. That sounds <gasps> so much fun. Oh, yes. Mm. This is the cheat code to these milks. Can you imagine if you poured cinnamon milk into Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Uh, I feel like it would be too much bursting. Yeah, I feel like you'd probably pass out. That um, upped the mood. Damn. Next up we have macadamia mac... Wait, milk macadamia <laughs> milk. Milkadamia. That's milk the brand. This is the one that I'm most excited for. Because if I saw someone drinking macadamia milk, I automatically think they're worth a hundred million dollars. Yeah, and also I know it's not about looks, but if you saw this in someone's fridge, like this just looks very chic. Oh my god, beneath our trees, trillions of microorganisms dance through life. Wow. This one's gonna bring on the plant-based milks up, I know it. Then again, hazelnut milk was really good, so I don't wanna throw all the plant-based ones down the bus. Or throw them under the bus? Under the bus. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> There's some remnants of this one in the cup. Oh, it's good. It is miles and miles above these two. I like how it's simple. With, yeah. with all the other ones, it had a weird taste, but this one, I, I would be fooled if it was real milk. Like, I wouldn't... I wouldn't really think about it. Macadamia milk, maca milkadamia, it's it. Milka, maca, milkabamia is closest to almond milk. Yeah. Oh my, they have an Instagram. Should I follow? You should. Oh. Get sponsored by them and you get all the free milk. I'll probably DM them and say like, by the way, like I'm like really famous. Did you want to send me in? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have one last one. This one you've probably been looking at the whole time. Why is it in a box? Non-fat dry milk. The only reason why I know about this is because our dad used to always say, when I was little, we only drank dry milk. He never really? gave a reason to it, but- Broke. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this what you drink like when the world ends and you're living in a bunker? Well, there has to be some reason. I, it's probably cheaper. For some reason I feel like astronauts drink this. How do we make it? So we have so to actually make we it. We have to mix it with water. Ew. For best flavor, store in a tightly sealed container overnight. Oh. Well, we hope this won't get best flavor. Who knows, maybe this will taste just like regular milk. I feel like it won't. Yeah. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in. I don't want this to get messy. I mean, it looks like milk. That was so easy to make. It, it smells like rotten milk. milk. <laughs> it smells like pee, like actual pee. I mean, I'm not even gonna say anything. Like, it tastes like milk, but it tastes like rotten milk. That doesn't taste like actual- oh no. For some reason I feel like that should be illegal. If the world was ending, yes I would, Jing, but tomorrow but like, morning, no. But like, need milk. But the world was ending, like, who even cares if you have milk? Oh yeah, I'm just gonna drink water and Yeah, meat. and kill like... squirrels? To eat them and fry them? Um, I wasn't planning on this, but we should rank them. If Might as well. If someone's watching and wants to buy them, we should let them know. The worst one is probably... Um, I might venture to say one of these three was the worst. This was gross, but I almost think I'd rather have this dry milk than these other ones. Like yeah. this was disgusting, this was disgusting, and that was disgusting. I would say pea milk's the grossest. Yeah, probably a tie between these two. So they're gonna be right beside each other. The buster was cinnamon. Oh, toast 100. crunch, obviously. Second place to me was either macadamia or hazelnut, but you didn't like hazelnut, so you could put this Macadamia out. nut, this then was, hazelnut. I liked hazelnut. These were all just shit to me, so they're all the same. Yeah, this is our official Odd milk ranking review. Leave your ranking below because we know a lot of you guys bought all these milks to drink come along with us. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, hope you enjoyed it. 
subscribe to both of our channels, and, um, you know, keep being milky, because being milky is better than ble- is better than being watery. And now you guys know which of these milks are Milk Boy approved. Goodbye, Zs. Bye!